Hey, what's up, guys? It's Luke Bellers. The Packers just had their second sixth round draft pick. Unfortunately, I just filmed this video, realized my mic wasn't plugged in, so I just decided, okay, I guess I'll put my mic in and do this again. So round number two for me, round number one for you, round number six for the Packers. The Packers come in with the second pick of, or not the second pick, their second sixth round pick, pick number 220. So the Packers drafted middle linebacker from Boston College, Isaiah McDuffie. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I put out Packers content almost every day, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel down below. So McDuffie, take a look at him, his time at Boston College. Uh, he played in 40 games, started in 20 of those games where he had 230 tackles, 8.5 sacks, and four pass breakups over his four seasons there. Um, at Boston College. And when we take a look at the Packers and sort of how their linebacker situation is at this point, of course, we have Chris Barnes, who was undrafted. Also, Kamal Martin, who was drafted in the fifth round. Those two guys, I made a linebacker. And I think there was a question as to whether or not the Packers could potentially come into the draft and maybe, you know, spend a high pick on middle linebacker. Uh, that definitely was a possibility. But, you know, with our other needs, it did seem that those other things were probably more important, like cornerback, like, um, you know, offensive line, as we've seen the Packers come in and draft. Uh, a bunch of offensive linemen so far in this draft. And um, so they decided to come and use their sixth round pick on this linebacker. And the Packers just really haven't shown um, that they really need to, 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 I guess, sort of use one of their high picks on, you know, a linebacker. Um, I definitely think, you know, Kamal Martin and Chris Barnes can definitely take huge steps forwards coming coming into 2021. And so now they're bringing another guy to potentially, you know, have as backup. Maybe they can move him into the lineup eventually, uh, depending on how well he plays. But taking a look at uh, an overview from NFL.com, they say McDuffie plays with a palpable energy and rarely gears down until the whistle blows. He's undersized, but is at his best playing inside. That's where his recognition, talent, and instincts take over and allow him to race to run lanes ahead of the block. He pursues with leverage, but has the burst to accelerate and attack when it's time to finish. His full tilt playing style will lead to occasional issues with pursuit angles and being out of balance as a tackler, though. He's feisty, but takes time to free himself from blockers and was ineffective when asked to drop into coverage. He has the ability to become a quality backup with core special teams value. So with him being a six-round pick, there probably is some development he needs to do to get to the level um, the Packers would need him to play at, and maybe potentially, as I said, he could be a special teams guy. Um, but overall, so far in this draft, I'm liking what the Packers are doing so far. I don't know if you guys are liking this so far. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but so far, starting off with the cornerback, I liked that pick. Then going, you know, center, wide receiver, Amari Rodgers, love that pick as well. I'm loving lots of these picks, um, and it's been a good draft, I think, for the Packers so far up to this point. And I'll probably be putting out like a draft draft grade or draft recap of everything sort of my thoughts on it in the next day or so most likely we do still have we still do have like one more pick i think right it's like one pick in the seventh round i'm pretty sure so there should be one more video coming out today unless some more craziness happens unless some you know more aaron Rodgers news comes out you never know what's going to happen with that whole situation now but if you guys haven't subscribed yet, it'd be awesome if you subscribe. Uh, all you got to do is click the little button, and then it's like you're subscribed to the channel. Um, so that way you don't miss any Packers news that comes out in the future. But um, yeah, it's been a fun day so far today. Lots of videos to make, lots of draft picks so far up to this point. Uh, but thank you guys who have been watching, who have been subscribing, who have been tuning into the channel. Uh, it's been lots of fun. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.